Coach, obviously the unbeaten run has brought you guys back to playoff contention. It ends on kind of a, a down note. Can you just talk about how the emotions are in the locker room after a frustrating loss like this? Uh, <clears throat> let me start by talking about my emotions. Uh, the coaching staff emotions, uh, the technical staff emotions. We're very proud of what this team has accomplished. Um, we put ourselves in a, in a massive hole, and we have climbed out of it. Now, there's still work to do, but winning nine games in a row is an accomplishment that was, was a big one. We all knew it was going to end at some point. We all knew. The fashion it ended in is what makes it sting. So I'm going to go right, right from the beginning. Just Steph has saved our ass a bunch of times, more times than we can imagine. And goalkeepers have a very, you know, tenuous position in the sense if they make a mistake, it usually costs a goal. But that's not where we lost the game, not on that singular play. Where we lost the game was generating chance and chance and chance and half chance, half chance, half chance, and not being able to find that one piece quality to, to, to put the score line in our favor. So, you know, all credit has to go to Philly for, for, for sticking around. Uh, Jim does a great job, and I wish them luck in the Open Cup final. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we needed to finish one of those chances and you know, then, then, then the play at the end of the game is, 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 is a different outcome. So I'm, again, repeating, I'm awfully proud of what the guys have accomplished because it's a massive, massive record that I doubt will be challenged in, 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 in the future, near future. Matt, uh, what update can you provide on the extent of the injury to Raul? And then what was the rationale for Chad coming off the half time? I look like he was being <clears throat> yeah, it was just a precautionary on Marshall. We'll evaluate him tomorrow. Raul has an a ankle sprain that prevented him from playing. So, again, you know, it's too early for me to give you any sort of definitive uh, information on that. But certainly, you know, uh, at training, I'll, I'll update you guys. Jeremiah? Was there anything, <clears throat> it seemed like early on you guys were finding uh, some joy on both wings. Um, was there something that, that changed, did, did, did it feel like the Union were able to adjust to that and kind of keep that from happening after maybe the first 20 minutes or so? Well, I think the, the, the game kind of, you know, with the, with the, the, the delay tactics, the injuries, the, the, we kind of lost the momentum after that first 20 minutes, because I, I, I think we played very well, some of our better soccer after 20 minutes. You know, it, it, you know if Victor gets his toe on the ball, if, if you know, it, some of the little balls that we maybe weren't as sharp as that were now half chances that could have been solid chances. I think some of that was our own doing. Um, but certainly it was challenging after Raul you know, left and, you know, just the way the game was unfolding. And, yeah, then, then Philly decided, okay, well, yeah, we can, we can make a go out of this. I thought, I thought we were, thought we were really good in those first 20 minutes. So Coach, did the uh, injuries uh, change the uh, mentality of the team? The guys that come on have good mentalities. I mean, Roman has a good mentality. Bruin has a good mentality, you know, Harry has a good mentality. I mean, the volley that he had, you know, was, was, was a very well taken shot. He had some good movements, good play, you know, so I don't think it, it shifted at all. It, it was unfortunate, you know, because injuries kind of, again, upset the flow of the game. You know, new guys have to come and adjust to the speed, the tempo, all of that, but not the mentality, the mentality is good. Other questions? Yeah, Matt. It um, looked like after the final whistle, Steph was kind of in the top of his own box, and like Roman was the first one to kind of go in and talk to him and sort of get his head up. Um, for a guy that's kind of been in and out of the lineup, what do you think that that sort of says about his sort of stature within the team? Roman has always been a team guy. Since he's been here, he's been a big part of this club. So for him, I think that's normal course of business. Even when he's not playing, he will still provide leadership, and that's something that doesn't surprise me a bit. 
and I think you would go down through the team. Every single one of you guys ask about the, 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 the locker room. They're all supportive of stuff. I mean, that, 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 that stuff happens. So everybody to a T was building him up because he's taken that pretty hard. Because you know Steph's a very competitive guy, and, and that's going to sting. Steve, after this great winning streak, are there any positives, any value at all uh, to facing a little bit of adversity down this stretch before the playoffs? Uh, <clears throat> I might have to think about that one. Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and give you a better answer. Uh, you know, but the true measure of a man is not when things are going great. You got a, you know, you got a nice girlfriend. You drive a nice car. You're winning nine games in a row. You're doing all that stuff. That's it's easy to be a, you know, a good man, a good player, a good teammate. When things get tough, when things are not going your way, when you have some adversity, that's the true measure of a man. How can you buck up and help your team, you know, get results? So it's going to be a. It's going to be a good game down in L.A., and I think the guys are ready for it. Jason, um, Roman and Kim Kihi haven't spent a lot of time in the pitch together this season so far. Uh, how happy were you, with, were you with their partnership? Great. They spent a lot of time in training. It's getting towards the end of the year. Everybody should know each other by now. So, you know, I think some of those little nuances will go away. The team's been together for nine, nine and a half months, whatever it is. So... You know, I, I, I wasn't concerned at all. Okay. Uh, 19 fouls uh, committed by Philly. Uh, how uh, did you feel that they were uh, strategic in their fouling, and how did that disrupt uh, your play, if at all? Well, it does because the game's harder to play, but I wouldn't say that they were necessarily a dirty team or trying to take us out of, uh, with bad tactics. I don't, I don't think Jim would coach his team like that. Um, there was just fouls because, you know, it's just part of the game, and you know it, it 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 manifests itself sometimes when you know you had Christian going around the corner. Sometimes he gets fouled, or Nico getting his toe on the ball first. You know Victor getting you know they're all quick, sharp little players, and sometimes they're hard to track down, or guys just coming late. I think the number eight had most most of the fouls in the first half. They finally gave him a yellow, so I didn't think it was a dirty game. Anything else, guys? Harvey, yeah. Uh, the ankle sprain for Raul, for Raul, do you know right now, is that the same ankle that he took a knock on while he was on national team duty with the group? Uh, well, that wasn't an ankle. It was like a, uh, a, a scrape down his shin. Okay. Um, but I will check that out to see if it was the same leg.